people looking for a home in Spokane are having very little luck compared to those selling. There's high demand, but not enough homes on the market to sell. Homes for sale get snatched up quick. Eleni Dow explains what you should expect if you're trying to buy a home. It's an emotional roller coaster trying to buy a home right now. One minute you're putting in your offer, the next you're being outbid by tens of thousands of dollars. Now that's what happened to Priya Mather and many others. Why do you live in Spokane? The beauty that's here, it's captivating. It's a place that caught the eyes of many like Priya Mather, who lived in California for most of her life. That's a state people are leaving and heading to Washington and Idaho. I know an issue in California, at least in the Bay Area, and from what I've experienced, is loneliness and a lack of ability to um, really connect with the community. Community is what we have here in Spokane, something Priya wants to be part of. She's been looking for a home since November, but has had little luck. It's been a little frustrating, to be honest. The Spokane Association of Realtors January report showed about a 10-day supply of homes on the market. That time last year, it was a one-month supply. I've been doing this 26 years, and I can't remember a time when it was lower. Homes are selling at a much higher price now, too. The average price of a home went up 21.5% this January compared to last year. The average closing price was about $347,500. Last year, it was nearly $289,000. Realtors believe the price will continue to go up, and those trying to buy have to put in multiple offers, something Priya did but lost. I was outbid by, I would say, thirty grand um, in cash. Right, I mean, and it was it was well over the asking price. It was shocking, actually, because I think I had come in at a pretty at a pretty good asking rate. While she continues to look and is hopeful for a home that fits her dreams, she's excited to be part of a community like Spokane. I really appreciated the beauty of the city that I'm in, and it, like driving through this neighborhood, especially driving around the South Hill, it just gave me so much hope and so much excitement for where I might actually end up.